In this video, we'll go over eight tips and tactics within ChatGPT so that by the end of it, if you're a newbie, you'll be a ChatGPT pro. So grab your notepads and let's get started right now. The first tip is to use ChatGPT for coding assistance. Even if you aren't a skilled coder, ChatGPT may be a useful resource when dealing with coding problems. For this example, let's assume I want to change the visual look of a button. The method begins by hovering on the button, then select Inspect, and then copying the whole button class I wish to edit. Then, what we need to do is to copy the element by selecting Copy Element. With the duplicated element in hand, we will need to give the request to ChatGPT, which goes something like, help me in changing the CSS of this button, using the code below to incorporate red and yellow colors, and then paste the code. Surprisingly, this strategy works for me approximately 90% of the time when it comes to developing CSS solutions. The final code is not just polished, but also suitable for implementation. It's important to remember that ChatGPT may also provide in-depth information. You can submit existing code and request assistance in correcting mistakes. The second tip is to create to-do lists within ChatGPT. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say your doctor sends you an email describing numerous duties he must perform to get better from an injury. However, there is a lot of information within the duties. If you find it more efficient to work with to-do lists, this advice is for you. ChatGPT is particularly good at this. Then we'll tell ChatGPT to generate a to-do list and then supply the paragraph from the doctor. ChatGPT will build a clean to-do list when we submit this command, allowing us to focus on the activities at hand. The end outcome may look like this. ChatGPT makes it simple to extract and arrange tasks from lengthy paragraphs in this manner, allowing you to keep on top of your duties. Tip number three is to use ChatGPT's explain it to me like a child method. To explain this to you, let's imagine the following scenario. We want to teach a general topic to someone but are unclear of the best approach to do it. But often, reducing an idea for a child's understanding also helps adults understand the subject more efficiently. To use this strategy, enter in a question such as, explain stocks to a five-year-old. ChatGPT will respond with an explanation that begins with an analogy designed for a young child's comprehension. While the question is structured as an explanation to a youngster, the resulting explanation may frequently assist adults obtain a better understanding of the issue as well. This strategy uses the power of simplicity and analogy to help you unravel complex concepts and improve your knowledge. ChatGPT may make complicated concepts more approachable and relevant by using a child-friendly explanation technique. Tip number four is to modify previously written material. ChatGPT is all about creating new material, but it's also vital to realize that you may edit existing text. You don't always have to utilize ChatGPT to generate material. As I shown, you can also use it to check your grammar, modify your style, and vary your tone. As a result, the suggestion regarding changing previous content is more of a notion to remember while using ChatGPT than a precise practical one. However, because this notion is quite strong, make sure to implement it into your ChatGPT workflow. With ChatGPT, you can take what you already have in mind and tweak it even more. Tip number five is to follow the step-by-step -step instructions within ChatGPT. This method is very beneficial for handling challenging jobs. Here's how you can use ChatGPT to help you navigate difficult processes. Assume I have a task in mind, such as developing a set of terms of service for my website. I would tell ChatGPT to do the following. Guide me step by step and assist me in developing terms of service for my website. Please send me questions that I can answer. Generate the terms of service in the right manner when I respond. This data will be used to create the terms of service. Prompts such as, what are the main services your website offers may be used during the process. Alternatively, are there any specific user guidelines you'd like to include? As you work through these questions, ChattyGPT will assist you in developing a preliminary copy of your terms of service agreement. Tip number six is to rename your conversation logs for better organization. This suggestion is frequently forgotten, and I too missed its relevance at first. Normally, I would let ChatGPT to generate names for my chat sessions automatically. However, as I found I could rename them myself, my dashboard structure improved substantially. Let's assume we need to use the text from our injury recovery for later. Instead of using the default name, we may improve the organization by using a custom name. Click the pencil symbol next to the conversation log to do so. This allows you to change the name. You can remove the existing name and replace it with a new one. You may, for example, categorize it numerically by person 
or by any other relevant criterion. For instance, I'll call this one Injury, August 25th, 2023. When you're finished, remember to click the checkbox symbol to confirm your change. Following this procedure will result in a nicely titled chat log, which will make it simpler to identify and locate individual talks inside your dashboard. This minor effort may make a significant difference in keeping a well-organized and effective workspace within ChatGPT. The tip number seven is to give roles to ChatGPT before putting out the query or instruction. When you assign a position to ChatGPT, you can now give it a personality or character to emulate. Then whenever ChatGPT answers to your query or instruction, it will act in the persona that you assign to it. Allow me to demonstrate what I mean. So, before giving ChatGPT a role, your prompts may be something like, write a small birthday letter to my cousin Tommy. When I send this message, ChatGPT will do just that. It will compose a birthday note to your cousin Tommy. So, in order to spice up our creative writing, let's give ChatGPT a part, and whenever you designate a role, begin with act as. I'll keep it simple. Pretend you're a pirate. The prompt is, then, write a small birthday letter to my cousin Tommy. Now when I save and submit, it will speak as if it is a pirate using entirely different language than the initial letter, just because we assigned it that function. This is a fantastic technique to vary your prompts, and it goes much farther than simply instructing ChatGPT to act like a pirate. Tip eight is to use ChatGPT for learning reasons. This is especially useful when you need to quickly understand and remember information. To take this to the field, let's ask to chat GPT to make a summary of the important parts of a plant and divide them in form of flashcards. This method is very effective while learning complex subjects. ChatGPT enhances memorization and understanding by delivering extensive descriptions and producing interactive flashcards. The quiz style, as illustrated, guarantees an interactive learning experience, allowing you to assess your knowledge and reinforce your understanding of the subject matter. This strategy may also be used for job interviews, where you personalize the flashcards to specific positions, allowing you to prepare successfully with the help of ChatGPT.